Hey guys, how are you today? So I am here to bring you another project. Uh, my dear friend Cindy Utter and I decided to get together and do something that we're calling a you and me challenge. So the idea behind it is you get an envelope full of stuff together and you send it to your swap partner and when you get the envelope you have to make two postcards with whatever is in there one for you to keep and one for you to send back to them. I'm going to go through the specific rules at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that um, if you are interested in doing it. But let's see what Cindy sent me. This is her envelope that she sent me. I've actually had it for quite a while because this date on here is December 11th. But, you know, Christmas <laughs> craziness got in the way. Today is the 26th, and I'm just now, I haven't even opened it yet. I have no idea what's in here. So, let's see what's in here. We'll go through it. And then I'll speed through the creation of two postcards, and I will be at, back at the end. Let's see if I can get it open without slicing anything. Hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Let's see. All right. So I have no idea what's in here. So she sent me some extra things that aren't part of the challenge. Evidently, this is the challenge envelope, and your envelope is supposed to be about this size, FYI. She sent me a few extra things, which I love. Just some happy mail. Look at these little buttons. And some tags. I love these tags. Cindy, these are great tags. Fabulous. And then I mentioned to her she sent me one of these pens, and I love the way it writes. In fact, I've got it on my planner. She sent me this one. So she went and got me some more. Yay, thank you. I love the way they write. All right, so that's just happy mail. <laughs> Here is the You and Me Challenge envelope. So let's open this one. Let's see. Where's my letter opener? Just worried I'm going to tear something. There we go. Oops, something already fell out. Okay. So now you're going to send an envelope full of stuff to your swap partner, and which is what this is. And you know, on the envelope, she's included this piece of tape. So I'm not going to throw this away because I may end up using this in one or both postcards. She sent me a piece of tool. And. Some painty papers. Look at this one. Don't you just love the purple on there? Some words. A couple of these flower buttons with the shanks cut off the back. Some lace. And some washi tape. It's an interesting collection of things. Now you have to use what they sent you. It doesn't mean you can't add other stuff. But you have to use what they sent you. So. I'm going to get out a couple pieces of cardstock and I'm going to make a couple postcards. I'm going to speed through the process and we'll be right back.
Okay, those are my two postcards and after they are dry, I am going to pick one and I'm going to write a nice note on the back of it to my friend Cindy Etter and I'm going to send it back to her. You saw me use this watercolor um, kit It is part of uh, the postcards. This is just, just an inexpensive small Winsor Newton watercolor pocket kit. Um, in, very inexpensive. I got it at Hobby Lobby, 40% uh, off. And this is one that I don't really care too much about contaminating it with acrylic paint. I'm not going to be super careful about using watercolor brushes with it. In fact, I used an acrylic brush with this kit. Um, uh, this is just strictly for mixed media play um, and not anything special. Um, but I can get some watercolory effects and not worry about um, messing up my ex more expensive um, uh, watercolor paints when I'm doing it. So that's what I have this kit for, little kit for, just FYI, because I know somebody's going to ask. <laughs> All right, here are the rules. If you want to play along with the You and Me Challenge, the object is to build two index cards. So I use this small, um, what is it, three by five index card, and um, that's what you should use, um, or something that's the equivalent of. Um, you're going to send six items to your swap partner in a standard size 3 5 8 by 6 and a half inch envelope. Just a standard letter envelope, U.S. letter envelope. Um, the items included should be as follows. Paper, scrapbooking paper, painted paper, book text, something like that. Some kind of texture, textured paper, burlap, cardboard. You saw Cindy sent me some tool and some of this lace. Um, which was great. Um, embellishments, buttons, brads, that sort of thing. If you're going to send something like a brad though, you're going to want to flatten it. Nothing too puffy or heavy because you want to not have to pay a lot of extra postage for it. You also don't want to get it, have it get stuck in the mailing machines. Uh, fiber, ribbons, burlap twine, string, washi tape, uh, words. Make sure to put words. Um, you saw me cut up the quotes that she sent me into individual words or groups of words and then rearrange them completely to come up with the two quotes that I did. Once you receive these items from your swap partner, you're going to make two index cards, one for you, one for your partner, and you can use um, any and all mediums you have on hand. However, you need to use at least three items from the envelope that you receive. The rest is for you to keep. Um, you're looking, we're looking for a two week turnaround. So you want to do this right away and create the index card and send it back to your partner within two weeks of receiving your supplies. We do have some swap rules. You should abide by them if you're going to sign up for this. They include the following. Don't join if you're not going to hold up your end of the deal. Um, 
participation is optional, and if you have joined, please don't back out of your half of the challenge. It's unfair to your partner. You'll need to provide your name, email, and mailing address to the host of the swap. Email this information to artsyendeavors at gmail.com. That address and the link to Cindy's video will be in the description below. This information will only be shared with the others in your swap group. We're not going to send it off to anybody else. Um, we never share or sell information or anything like that. Uh, participants will be matched with their partners as they come in. You may be sending USA or international. If you have an issue with funds, we'll do our best to provide USA only if available and requested. So make sure you put that in your email. No guarantees though. Communication is key. So if you have an issue with timing or something else pops up, please, please, please let your swap partner and the swap coordinators, Cindy um, or somebody at the RC Endeavors email address, know that you are having a partner a problem. The challenge is open to all uh, members, uh, whether new or experienced artists. Be gracious to your partner. If you receive something that you're not happy with, do not return it. We want everyone to enjoy the process and the challenge. If you have any questions, please contact me at uh, Cindy, please contact Cindy at artsyendeavors at gmail.com and she'll do her best to make sure that this is a fun and happy challenge. The most important rule is to have fun and enjoy creating uh, the little goodies that you, uh, with the little goodies that you get sent to by uh, your partner. Um, and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. This really is a lot of fun and it's, it's an interesting challenge. So go out there, put your envelopes together with some thought don't just randomly throw stuff in an envelope, but put a little thought into it. And, uh, yeah, make it a challenge, but don't make it too hard. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye.